You know, just up the road from the heart of the triad is one of the coolest hidden treasures in our region. Horn Creek Farm has over 400 varieties of apples there, but here's the hook. Most of them are almost extinct. You can't even find them anymore. This farm is trying to be bringing them back to production since the 90s. A cool story. I spoke to horticulturalist Jason Bowen about this local treasure. Jason, when I first heard about this, I thought it was pretty cool that there are actually apple varieties almost extinct at one point, and you guys are helping to change all that. How did this get started there? At Home Creek Farm, the orchard was started by Lee and Edith Calhoun out of Pittsburgh. And Lee actually was retired from the Army and had a friend to have him look for a childhood apple that was thought to be extinct. He went on a two-year search for it. Eventually found it, but in his search, he discovered a lot of other apples and kind of thought it was neat. It ended up being a 30 year um, kind of adventure for him where he, you know, found a lot of these Southern apples and he was keeping them and then putting them back into circulation, which is really the way to preserve them and keep them. So that sort of started uh, y'all's story there because now how many apple varieties do you have and how many are rare? We have over 400 uh, southern grown uh, varieties of apples. Um, probably over 300 of them would be considered rip, you know, rare uh, and then probably 40 or 50 of them are extremely rare. Uh, you know, we may have the only two left in existence in this orchard. So when people visit, Jason, can you actually sample some of these or are they just too rare? We're trying to sell trees to get them back out in circulation. And so we try to grow just enough fruit so that we can do that. You know, somebody try an apple and, you know, it's nothing like the apples that you get in the grocery store. They're incredible, some of the flavors. I mean, we got some that taste like strawberries and pineapples and bananas. It's, it's really incredible. That's amazing, man. You guys are doing incredible work. Uh, thank you for taking time out today. Good luck out there. Y you know, it really is neat, and I can't believe, where, where have I been? Because I missed this place. Just found out about it recently. It's near Pinnacle, in case you're wondering. Uh, so in relation to this, I asked you on my Facebook page, I said, what's your favorite food or beverage made with apples? And there's some common themes going on here. Let's take a look. Hope Freeman says apple cider, for sure. I'd have to say that's probably up there for me, top five. Uh, Sylvia says cider and fried apple pies. Yes. Ivory says cooked apple. You can can them for later with homemade biscuits. Now I'm starving now, thank you, Ivy. Uh, Trace says apple cider and oh, a little something extra there, adding some fireball to the mix. If you don't know what that is, you, you Google that and see what the fireball beverage is. Uh, Francine says apple crumble, that's good. And then Don said McDonald's apple pies from the good old days, back when they fried them. The ones today are good, not the same as they used to be. So yeah, I, I would agree with that, but uh, <laughs> apple cider's up there on my list. No I comment love, on Fireball. I love all things apple. I actually like <laughs> apple flavored desserts better than pumpkin flavored desserts if we're going to go for a seasonal flavor. I love caramel apple cake. I've already said that. My granny's <laughs> baked apples. Mm. Mom, if you still have that mm. recipe, send it to me. Oh, yum. We'll just talk to her through the TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instead of just giving her a call. Uh, I got to say apple crisp is probably one of my favorites. So you got to have it with the ice cream, though. I feel like you can't have one without the other. It's the heat and the cold together melting and just makes uh, just a good combination. I will say, though, Don was talking about the McDonald's apple pies. Literally, my dad and I used to go there way too often growing up. That was our thing. We would go get two apple pies. I think it was for a dollar at that point. Mm -hmm. And we just enjoy it on our way home. It was great. God, Chilton does it again. <laughs> the 453 I, I know, hunger I hits. <laughs> It is the 453 hunger. And we should have a little segment called the 453 <laughs> and we just look at pictures. 453 hunger. Of 